All right, I have a wide range of stuff that I've been loving from 2020, from skincare, makeup, hair, tannin, nails, some food items, you name it on my table right here. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is this Revolutions Mattifying Matte and Fix Primer. Y'all know if y'all watch my videos, I love this stuff. The reason why I like using this is because it has a silicone -y feel. So whenever I put it on my face, it gets into my pores, makes a good canvas for my makeup, and very inexpensive for a primer. The next one that I'm going to talk about is this Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfies Foundation. So I actually got another foundation as well, but I probably should go up on a shade just because I've been self-tanning, but I can't go in the stores and try them out just because with COVID going on. So I've been using the same one that I have been using for months now, but I've been just bronzing my face and just making it work. But the reason why I like using this is of course you can pump the foundation or you can screw off the cap and just go into the areas that you want to of course cover up and it is a good full coverage foundation, which I love. Another makeup product that I've been loving is this Revolutions Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Ghost. The reason why I like using this so much is because whenever I take pictures, I feel like it blends my makeup really well and makes my bronzer pop, and it's very inexpensive as well. The next product I'm going to talk about are these little shavers. So you can get this at your local CVS or Walgreens. And the reason why I like using these little shavers is because I actually do my own derma planning at home just to save money and I can do it whenever I want to. And whenever I derma plan, of course, I just go in downward strokes while holding the other section of my skin down. And it gets the peach fuzz off, dead skin cells, and it exfoliates my skin. Makes my skin very smooth. And of course, my makeup goes on really well by using this product. Next up is lashes so I actually do my own eyelash extensions now I'll link a video down below on how to do them y'all I have saved so much money by doing my own eyelash extensions so if y'all ever had eyelash extensions y'all know they fall out here and there so with COVID going on when I was looking like Gucci when I was looking like Walmart and I just could not take it anymore I just wanted to do my own eyelashes at home so I bought these two products this is our Ardell clear adhesive glue and then I got the Ardell false mink um lightweight not free lashes I got the size medium just because they look more natural and like I said I can do this whenever I want to if I'm traveling I can throw this in my travel bag and if I'm in of course wherever I can just put a lash on that has fallen out saves me so much money and time because of course I can do it whenever wherever I want to and I love doing my own eyelash extensions now and guess what saving money Next up, we got skincare, and y'all probably have heard of this stuff. This is a red peeling solution. This is a 10 minute solution. I will tell y'all, I probably only use about six minutes max, just because it does have a burning and tingling sensation on your face. Just imagine back in the day when you went to the tan bed, put that tingling lotion on your body, this is on your face. So if you have sensitive skin, I would probably not recommend using this. So use with caution. But I will say whenever I have a bad breakout, I put this on my face, wash it off, and the next morning my skin looks so much better by using this stuff. And I highly recommend it if, of course, you can take the burning and tingling sensation on your face. Next, I have this Revolutions 0.2% Renal Fine Line Corrector Serum. And of course, I just take a couple of drops, put it into my fingertips, work it together, and of course, put it all over my face, sleep in it. The next morning, my skin looks and feels so much better by using this retinol serum. And of course, the best part, it doesn't cost a lot. Another random product that I've been loving are these cotton rounds. Of course, I got a new pack. And the reason why I like these cotton rounds is because one side is exfoliation and the other side is smooth. So whenever I take off all my makeup and I'm putting on toner, I use the exfoliation side and it is so crazy to see more makeup come off my face just because of the exfoliation of the cotton round, which works out really good, of course, because I'm trying to do better with my skin. And this helps actually take off more makeup that is stuck in my pores. Now moving on to hair. If y'all are anything like me and only wash your hair about once or twice a week, then this product is for you. So the day that I wash my hair, I literally have so much buildup of dry hair shampoo, hairspray, mom life, you name it, up in this rest nest. So whenever I wash my hair, I always use this Redken Detox Hair Cleansing Cream. Y'all, this stuff works wonders. So whenever I wash my hair, I put this in, then of course rinse it out. I either follow up with my regular shampoo, then conditioner, or just use this and then the conditioner afterwards. So I'm telling y'all my hair looks and feels so much better after using this and I feel like it gets any excess oils and build up out of my hair so who doesn't want to detox from their hair? <laughs> 
The next two products I want to talk about are the Bondi Boost Shampoo and Conditioner. So I have not used this for the full 2020 year. I just recently purchased these products. And the reason why I purchased higher end shampoo and conditioner is because I'm paying 100 plus bucks for my coloring service. So why not pay for a higher end shampoo and conditioner versus going to the grocery store and paying only five bucks for a shampoo and conditioner when you're paying all that money to go towards coloring your hair. Um, another reason why I purchased these as well is because they have ingredients to help your hair grow and who doesn't want to have their hair grow. Um, I prefer the shampoo over the conditioner. The shampoo has like a tingling sensation and it has a good lather to it. The conditioner is like an old conditioner, nothing too major about it, but of course I have it since it's a dual product to work together to help my hair grow. Another hair product that I've been loving are these Gimme Beauty hair ties. These come in different shapes and sizes. This is their thicker one. Of course, I have a long, thick hair. Being a mom, I always throw my hair in a bun, and these do not pull out my hair, and I love using these Gimme Beauty hair ties. Now moving on to some tanning products I love for 2020. The first product is this Tan Logica Self Tanning One Hour Mousse. So I got the extra dark version just because I don't need this full hour because of course it's extra dark and I can get it done in a shorter time frame. This is day two of my tan. I feel like it's a good golden brown color like I came back from the Bahamas. Um, another reason why I like using the one hour express tan is because I can just shower and be over and done with. I feel like if I use an eight hour plus one and I have a bad night with my son and I want to sleep in or anything else, if I don't wash it off in that time frame, I feel like I get too dark and it doesn't look right on me. So I like just using this one hour express tan to be over and done with. And I actually got these mitts off of Amazon as well that I love. So it comes with a bag mitt. And of course, if you're tanning your own bag, you know how hard it is if you don't have somebody helping you or of course this mitt. So you put the product on in the middle. And of course, just go behind your back and hit the areas that you want to hit to tan your bag. And then of course, it comes with a tanning mitt as well a face mitt and of course exfoliation mitts. I do not use these two just because I put on uh, the face drops on by my fingertips and then of course I have a different exfoliation mitt that I have in my shower that I like a little bit better than this one. So these are my tanning and products for 2020. Now, now moving on to nails, I bought this gel nail polish kit off of Amazon and I'll link a video down below on how I use them. But being quarantined, we cannot go to the nail salon and get our nails done. So I just wanted my nails done. So I bought a whole bunch of different colors off of Amazon to test them out. And now that I have everything to do, my own gel nail polish, I have saved so much money because I can do my nails whenever and wherever I want to because I have the kit to do so. I also bought from Amazon the powder kit as well and I have a video that I'll link down below on how to use them as well. And I will say that I like the powder kit a little bit better just because they last a little bit longer. Um, I did not do my nails today because I have slammed my thumb in the door frame and of course it bruised it. So that's why I have nothing on my nails but these are what I like for my nails for 2020. Now I have two items left to talk about and you're gonna probably laugh and think I'm crazy, but I have to tell you about them. So at Walmart, they have clear American mandarin orange sparkling drink. Y'all, this stuff is so good. So I'm a sparkly drink person versus soda just because of course healthiness. I know some sparkling drinks taste like battery acid, but this one and the strawberry one tastes so good. So of course the mandarin orange is my favorite, but go to Walmart, get this. You'll thank me later because this is the best sparkling drink that I had in forever. Next, I know we're in a new year. We're trying to eat healthy. We're having bland chicken and four meal preps, you name it. So to add a little bit of flavor, to that bland chicken for your meal preps. Ranch popcorn seasoning. I know it does have a little bit of calories in it, but whenever I meal prep my food, I put this in the microwave, take it out, sprinkle a little bit on my chicken. Of course, good to go, add some kind of flavor to my bland chicken. This has been a lifesaver for my meal preps. So, these are my favorites for 2020. Hopefully this will help you into the new year for 2021. Until next time, bye guys.